A major bill that would remove federal protection for the gray wolf passed the House of Representatives this week, thanks to a central Washington lawmaker. But the bill contained a bitter pill for opponents of the Saudi Arabian war in Yemen. Congressman Dan Newhouse, a Sunnyside Republican, was a key sponsor of the Manage Our Wolves Act, a measure to delist the gray wolf under the Endangered Species Protection Act. This means states like Washington would be allowed to manage local wolf populations without federal oversight. If it's passed by the Senate, the act cannot be challenged in court. Wolves were once hunted to ex- near extinction in the lower 48 states. Today, though, gray wolves are thriving, both in my state of Washington as well as throughout the United States, with more than 5,000 wolves now living in the t- contiguous United States. Newhouse's measure passed the House 196 to 180, but in bringing the bill to the House floor, Republicans added a change in parliamentary rules that would not allow any debate over American involvement in the war in Yemen. The three-year-old civil war involves a coalition led by Saudi Arabia and supported by the United States against the Houthi rebel group. Perhaps 80,000 people have been killed in that conflict, including more than 6,000 civilians, and more than 3 million people have been made refugees. Starvation and cholera have killed more than 50,000 people in the country, and there's mounting pressure to end all U.S. support for the Saudi coalition. The rules change attached to Newhouse's bill means a bill by Democrats to do just that cannot be forced to a vote. Let's be very clear. This is unprecedented. In American history, never, never has the Speaker of the House and the majority denied a member of Congress a vote on matters of war and peace. This is basically rendering ineffectual the War Powers Act. It it basically undercuts uh, the privilege resolution introduced by Mr. Khanna so we could debate this horrific war going on in Yemen. I mean, it is, it, it takes my breath away Uh, at the lengths that this majority goes through to basically deny uh, members of Congress the right to be able to talk about important issues. On the floor of the House, Newhouse said, in a few short weeks, the Democrats will assume the majority. They'll be able to hold all the hearings and markups and votes that they want on this matter. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News.